The following program contains images of an actual surgical procedure that may be graphic and disturbing. Parents are advised that these images may not be suitable for young children. We all want to put our best face forward, but our next guest, Adeline, hid her face for as long as she can remember. I see myself in, in pictures and I hate every picture. When I was younger, I was overweight and I was teased when I was little about being fat and overweight. And then once I lost all the weight in middle school is when I really realized that my nose was just so big for my face. My whole life, I've had people make witch noises at me. People comment that, you know, my nose is big, stare at me, kids whispering. So at that point, you know, it, your confidence goes in the toilet. Even at age 60, I don't like pulling up to a red light and having somebody have to see my side profile. I remember being young. I was at a traffic light and there were these young guys in the car next to me and one of the guys he says to his friend, oh my God, look at that woman's nose. I was horrified. And of course, that was the longest red light that I would ever anticipate. You're just stoic and you deal with, you know, this is what you look like. But I was never happy with what I looked like. I never really got my nose fixed when I was younger because I just felt like I wasn't confident enough. Now I have a great life. I have wonderful friends. I have a wonderful family. My family has supported me no matter what I look like but it's been such a curse to me. My nose was never normal. When I look in the mirror, I immediately see this big nose. It's hard to hide. Adeline's sister wanted to surprise her with a life-changing cosmetic procedure for her 60th birthday. Today I brought my sister all the way in from Boston. Adeline is turning 60. I was thinking, what am I going to get my sister? What is something she's wanted to do forever? You're here. I know. I can't, I can't believe, believe it. it. I don't know. Thank you so much for, you know, talking me into coming. I wasn't sure you were going to get on that plane. <laughs> my sister is my champion. She supports me no matter what I think, and she's always there in my corner. We're going to say goodbye. Okay, say goodbye. <laughs> Let's do it. Here we go. Today, for my patient Adeline, we're performing an open rhinoplasty. We'll give her smooth, narrower dorsal aesthetic lines, a narrower tip. We'll raise it slightly. We'll also narrow the base. After surgery, in order to reduce the amount of swelling, we'll create a custom clear splint that goes onto the nose, and it's almost like adjustable aligners of the teeth. We'll start on the nose, and we're slowly be, uh, able to see the infrastructure of the nose. These are some of the largest, we call, lower lateral cartilages that I've ever seen. And what we'll do is minimize most of the different pieces while leaving the appropriate amount of support behind. We're gonna separate the nose and go a little deeper. Now I'm essentially just gonna take apart the nose. One of the most exciting parts about this next procedure is the use of the piezoelectric instrument. There tends to be less swelling and less trauma to the face and a much more precise cut along the bones. Okay, now the remaining portion of the nose is finished. The last step is really going to be reducing the base of the nostrils. We have finished, and now I place what's called a thermoplastic splint. This will mold onto the nose. She will keep this on for one week, and then we will take this off at the reveal. I think everything went really well, and I'm hoping this will be the best birthday gift ever.